Hello guys, in this video we are going to see how we can use Google's text-to-speech services um, for free using a simple hack. Um, but before we start, I would like to make a few things clear to you. Firstly, the API that we are going to use is not an official API. So you should not use it for any commercial purposes. Because if you try to excessively use or say abuse this API, then I fear that your IP may get blocked by the Google. Okay, so please be careful. And the second thing is that the solution that I'm going to provide may or may not work tomorrow. So as long as this works, enjoy. So let's get started. So here I am at, um, currently at translate.google.com. Okay, so if I type something here, like hello, I get a listen button here, which I can just click hello right and listen to what text that I have just typed so what is happening behind the scenes um, actually there is some API which is getting called and when this API is called some data is received from the servers and then that is just sent back to us back again right so our main goal here is to find which api is being used here to convert the text to speech and what are the parameters and what are the headers etc etc used in that api so let's get started first of all you will have to inspect the some elements here um so network is what i need here and if i click here Hello. on listen look at that this is the api that i need translate underscore tts um, so this is the request URL let me just copy it and paste it on uh, here Hello. yeah so look at that this is the API which is being called by this Google translate page for providing me the speech so now uh, what I'm interested in I'm interested in getting a standalone version of this API so that I can use it in a simple Python program right so let me just see how I can do that so here um, this much part is the API endpoint and then after that these are okay wait and after that these are the headers right so what I'm interested in is that I want to get a set of minimal headers here um, okay wait let me just first change the query okay let me just make it high okay look at that it says that the video format or meme type is not supported so this is actually happening because the parameters that are currently in this URL are actually um, made just to support this web page okay so I will need to just remove some parameters here and just keep the important ones um, like I have kept ie the encoding type which is utf8 the query which i have just typed as high and the language is english en and now let me just run it okay so look at that it gives me um a captcha uh, so google is asking for a captcha here right so this is also not the way so let me just think of a turn around here work around here um yeah so i forgot to add the client parameter so client is equal to t was what we were using back there but that is also not working so you have to use something other than t so gtx is the workaround that is working best so far and i think that Hi. it should work yeah so it's working so this is the minimal set of parameters that I need Hi. to just right to make a simple API endpoint for this API text to switch API so now let us make write a simple Python program to see how we can assess it directly okay so here I have open already opened a Jupyter notebook so first of all I am going to import the requests library then let me just specify 
um, the what was the UN this is the UN right and I need to specify some headers the request headers and these should include my user agent which is actually um, which you can find here in the headers here let me make it a bit more bigger okay so here is the user agent in the request headers and I've just copied it you may or may not need it but it is better to keep one okay so we have got our headers as well now it's time to specify some parameters for our um, request call so what parameters do I need so if you see here I need the encoding type which is going to be UTF-8 always right then I need to specify what query I am having so let me just keep it as a variable and let me just type it like text is equal to um, good morning right and after text um, I have to specify the translation language um, I am keeping it as English for now you can just see the complete list and I will provide a link for that and then you can just specify any language that you want and then the client the most important thing okay so this works um, parameters have been specified and now let's move on to the next stage um, I have to make a get request to the URL okay wait I have to remove these parameters now because I am just specifying them um, in some other way through this params dictionary right so params is equal to params and headers is equal to headers okay so this looks fine so let me just run that okay so it has worked let me just see the status code to see if everything has worked fine or not okay so it is giving a 200 status code it means that it has worked fine so it means that I have received I must have received um, some mp3 file as the response content so let me just save it somewhere I am saving it as clip.mp3 um, um, so I am going to write the response content in it okay so this looks fine so let me just play that um, clip.mp3 file um, let me just open the terminal so it was saved on the desktop um, clip.mp3 okay so look at that that's working so I think we have just made a nice workaround through this unofficial Google's text-to-speech API and this is the Python code which seems to be working right so that's it from this video thanks for watching